Hello again, everybody. It is the coach. You're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. Coming up, fourth year quarterback Jameis Winston and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers take on Joe Flacco and the Baltimore Ravens. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action here on Brandon God and Charles Davis. Coach, thanks. CA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Inner Harbor at M&T Bank Stadium here in Baltimore, Maryland. The two teams emerging from their respective tunnels a minute ago to the approval of this Baltimore crowd. They're all set as their Ravens will match up with Jameis Winston and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Raven team as they get ready here. They come in just in an absolute free fall, losers of seven in a row. And this is where you turn to your best players and look at them and say, can you guide us out of this? We've got to be better than what we've shown. On the other side of the field for the visiting Bucs, it's late in the year. We all know it. We've seen the calendar for these guys. Their bodies could probably use a break, but they have to push on. And they're really not as worried about that as maybe we think. They know they've got the... So here come the Ravens now, ready to get the football for the first time. The man calling the shots in the huddle in his 11th season now, the MVP of Super Bowl 47, and that's Joe Flacco. And the numbers were not pretty. I mean, they don't look right. When you throw... And this O-line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allow... Here's the first carry from Alex Collins. And they're able to get this one. Just to throw. They'll try to run forward with Collins. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Now it appears we've got an injured Raven down there on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. and linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play car, you're filing that away. Michael Crabtree's going to go. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Michael Crabtree, his second touchdown on the... So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. It'll be Jameis Winston leading this unit, the fourth-year quarterback from Florida State. And there's little doubt that he's looking for a big-time bounce-back season overs to continue to play again. Winston. It's brought in by Adam Humphreys. Actually, no gain on the play, and it's second down. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line. Hopefully, they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. Now, Jameis on second down. He gets it to home for a stop, and it would be 0-0 zero, zero right now, or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started. A look at the lineup defensively for the Ravens, who have been pretty good against the pass, number 10 in the league. They've been pretty solid against the pass toward the middle of the pack, number 14 in the NFL. I think if you talk to their head coach, you'll get a nice answer about how much he likes his team and what they're doing. The back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have the center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. Really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them, and now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this punch though falls incomplete. On third down, Winston escaping the pressure right. And he'll avoid the sneak it. I don't think he even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Cameron Bray, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field, but now even more so because Michael Crabtree and company now heading back onto the field. Well, he's within shouting distance of a thousand yard season. Gonna need a pretty low oh, that during the week in practice. And, and look, he asked for the ball all the time anyway. <laughs> Rush coming and he's taken down. Kendall Beckwith coming on the blitz. He gets him. 
Third down, Flacco needs a decent chunk of yardage. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. Oh, here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel the lace. Oh, a heavy rush, and down he goes. Quan Alexander coming on the blitz. They're best to do exactly that. But they're facing a team where getting to the quarterback is a mindset. It's a mantle for them. And they play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Brent Grimes. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Now remember that in zero. So one quarter in the books on a cold December afternoon. 14-7 is the score. But we're back to for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. The first pick of MJ Stewart's career. And he's going to get this one to the 20. Following the interception, Winston. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off down near the front. The run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with the bandit. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. And he's going to get the first down as they break. Third down, Flacco from the gun. Man open left side is Brett. Second down, Winston. And he finds a man with a crossing route. He finds someone okay. open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. It's caught by Mike Evans. 14 and Evans. And what a great target Mike Evans is for Jameis Winston. Winston's a pretty accurate thrower, but that catch radius that Evans provides, that makes the beauty of being able to play his own defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Caught left side to Crowley. He's up over 70%. Now, you know it's standard for quarterbacks and receivers to get together for a little extra time each and every day in practice. I get the sense they got together for a lot of extra time this week. A quarterback, but when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. They go play action here on first down. And Braith, the tight end's got it. And he's going to be out of bounds, but able to take. Winston now to throw on first down. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. Now Jameis on second down. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. As his, with the visiting Buccaneers out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, time for a sprint to the finish. As Jameis Winston, who's been on target in the first half. He's thrown for close to 200 yards already, and that's helped propel his guys into the lead. As we send you back to Brandon Godden. door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Does that happen to you? Blitz coming and down he goes. Mitch on Ryan. Continuing to fight downfield. Not at all. No, not at all. Not losing the third long, which means you got to dial up something pretty good. Think your best player with a play that he likes to run. And down he goes. A bucket air sack. Jason Pierre-Paul. They have to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark it. What took us so long? Because when you get four the previous week, you're counting on continuing that momentum. They didn't get that done in the first half of the game. Let's see him open. A second down throw for Winston. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. All game long. On third down, Winston. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. 
C.J. Mosley bring up fourth and long. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet. Fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Ravens with possession of the football. From the gun, flag up. It's caught over the middle by Hurst. And he's got the first fix. They go pass again with Flacco. And able to find. Third down, Flacco from the gun. And this is complete. Into the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Underneath to Allen. 11 yards, but still not going for it here. I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin fourth quarter. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. It's the fullback. His first touchdown. Over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Flacco. He gets it to Brown. Once more, it's Flacco. Throwing for his running back, and he's got it complete. Clock rolling. A red zone first down for Flacco. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Fourth quarter, maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Flacco, now a desperation throw, deep down. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for the Bucs, the win is their eighth on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Big D to take on the Cowboys. Meanwhile, for Baltimore, they've plummeted now to 3-11. and 11. And they will try to turn it around next week as they head down to Carson for a matchup with the L.A. Chargers.